Hi there hikers and backpackers and welcome to another High Codex review. In this video I'll be giving you my review about the Bach Daydream 50 liter pack. I'm Annette from Hikeaholics giving you gear reviews and hike videos. Now onto the review of the Bach Daydream 50 backpack. Bach sponsored this backpack for us to use during our Sweden adventure. We hiked part of the Kungslede and the whole trail of the Hoka Kustelede in Sweden. If you haven't seen those videos yet, make sure to check them out. We will leave a link in the description box below. Bach didn't ask us to do a review about this backpack. We only review gear that we actually wear and use ourselves. I didn't get paid to record this review. On the Bach Equipment website they introduced the Daydream Backpack as the backpack for tracking multi-day hikes and traveling. Let's find out if I agree with this statement. Let's start with the specs. You can choose between three back panel sizes, small, regular and large. I have the regular size backpack. My height is 1 meter and 72 centimeters. On the website you will find the size chart to choose the perfect fit for you. The weight of the Bach Daydream backpack is 1590 grams, so almost 1.6 kilos. The volume of the backpack is 53 liters and the comfortable weight range to carry in this backpack is 10 to 20 kilos. The main fabric is 100D Cordura mini ripstop and reinforcements of 500D Cordura in the key spots. And the suspension system is Shield Pro for increased airflow and stability. The backpack is available in three different colors, red dahlia like mine, or black or pine green. And last but not least, you can buy this backpack for around 260 euros. The Bath Daydream 50 has three separate openings for easy access and organization. It has a regular top opening and also an opening in the front and the bottom. Besides the three openings, there are also three compartments. There is a lid, the main compartment and the bottom compartment. The divider between the main and the bottom compartment is removable. And there is a little gap in the compartment so you can carry for example long tent poles with you. The lid compartment is removable. The lid is really spacious, it has two separate compartments and it can easily fit a warm jacket and your important items. The bottom compartment of the lid has a key cord so you can't lose your keys. The backpack is lightweight, yet comfortable to carry because of the well-fitted frame. The shoulder straps have load lifters to better balance your load. The shoulder straps and the hip belt are padded. The hip belt is also adjustable in height and you can completely remove it and replace it with a more lightweight one. On the hip belt is a small belt pouch, in which you can easily fit your phone and snacks. This pouch is removable. On the side of the backpack are two mesh pockets, one open mesh side pocket and one zippered mesh side pocket. On the left side of the backpack is a tracking pole or ice axe attachment. You can also attach the Bach helmet holder, so you can use this backpack as a climbing mountaineering or a via ferrata bag as well. With the compression straps on the side you can adjust the volume of this backpack. In the inside of the backpack there is a hydration bladder compartment which you can also use as a padded laptop sleeve. And on top of that, the backpack comes with a rain cover. Let's talk about the brand Bach. Bach is a Swiss brand and 40 years in business. Bach is well established in the world of technical bags and travel equipment. The brand Bach means for me sturdy, robust backpacks, detail-oriented designs with years of experience and a trustable Swiss brand. They also produce tents and other camping equipment since 2022. And most of the Bach materials are Blue Sign certified. The Blue Sign system is the standard for a sustainable production. It eliminates harmful substances right from the beginning of the manufacturing process and sets and controls standards for an environmentally friendly and safe production. So what do I like about this backpack? I absolutely love the fit of the backpack. I know it's a personal preference, but this is the first backpack that really fits my body type. The hip belt and the shoulder straps are in the perfect place for me. I also love the different compartments of the backpack. It keeps the contents of the backpack organized. I know how to quickly access my sleeping bag for instance, or where I can quickly find the jacket I need. And on top of that, with the different compartments, it is easy to pack your backpack in the right order. 
So the heaviest items close to your back. In the bottom compartment I put my light items. Otherwise my lower back will hurt. And on the top I pack my frequently used and safety items. When I pack backpacks with just a top opening, I always have those empty spots which I could have filled up with like socks above or another small item. But that's hard to do from the top. However, this backpack has multiple zippers and openings so you can easily put some extra stuff as filling or quick access items that are packed in the middle because you thought you didn't need it. And that's not even the best part. You can also remove the divider which is inside the backpack so that way you have just one big backpack to fill without different compartments. I also like the hip belt pouch. For me a pouch on the hip belt is a necessity. I love to have quick access to my phone for taking snapshots or to easily access a power bar. So I love it that it's already included in the design of this backpack. I also really love the lid of the backpack. In here I carry my important items like my passport or wallet because it's a compartment that's not super visible and a safe spot to store important items. So what don't I like about this backpack? I really miss having a font mess pocket. I like to have quick access to a jacket for instance. Now I put my stuff where I need quick access to into the top compartment of my backpack. And for me that's not the best spot. Second thing I don't really like about this backpack are all the cords and the zippers. It's not a dislike but I had to get used to all the different zippers, cords, compartments and add-ons on the backpack. There's a lot to get used to but once you get used to it there's a lot to laugh about. Like the tracking pole placement system, the straps to secure a water bottle and the mesh side pockets. In the beginning I was a little bit confused with some of the details of the design, but nowadays I really love it. So what's my overall conclusion of this backpack? I absolutely love this backpack. For me the fit is perfect. And especially when you carry all your camping and trekking equipment with you, the model, frame and robust fabric of this backpack is a match made in heaven. I am sure that for every next trekking adventure, the Bach Daydream is my go-to backpack. So what do you think about this Daydream backpack from Bach? If you already have it, do you like it? Or if you are looking for a tracking bag, would you buy it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you'd like to see more gear reviews like this, please subscribe to our channel and consider supporting us by also becoming part of the Patreon High Colleagues family. Your support means a lot to us and it helps us continue making gear reviews and hike videos for you. Well, now it's time to wrap up this video. And as we say goodbye in the Netherlands, doei!